I love Detroit. There's really a great spirit here. If I were to drive through the city, you know, 10 years ago and then completely leave and come back, it would be shocking. I mean, it is for some of our friends that have been gone for three, four years. There's so much to do. There's so much new stuff happening. It's definitely got a really good vibe to it now. DTE is a major Fortune 500 company and we're a major force in Southeast Michigan. For our system operations center, we're looking to bring in high potential uh, employees who have a background in making real-time critical decisions. We are essentially located in Detroit at the downtown headquarters building. You have a manufacturing base here, you have a, you have a high tech base here, you have tons of entrepreneurial companies who are growing and expanding and feeding off the urban core. Over these last three years has been a huge change in Detroit. When I first moved here at six o'clock, the entire city was empty. And now just three short years later, the city is full. You know, there's people everywhere. They're walking their dogs, they're out at restaurants, they're just hanging out, listening to music in the parks. The experience of the Riverwalk is really great. I like running, there's people biking, there's just families going for walks. It's a beautiful view. I mean, we're right across the river, so you see Canada on the other side. We've got all the sports teams, right? So no matter what you're into, it's all available in a short drive. Great restaurants, fantastic theaters, right? New restaurants popping up every day down here. Who would have believed you would make world-class watches in the city of Detroit? and the number of young people I meet who are starting companies is just remarkable. This is a great place. It's a place that is involved throughout, throughout the community. The city is really revitalizing with a new hockey arena You're right next to an excellent baseball stadium at Comerica. There's a lot of new apartments and lofts and uh, it's really becoming a really trendy, neat area. You walk around morning, noon, and night, and you see people, people with big smiles on their faces, people heading out, people coming in, going to events, meeting one another, having dinner, going to sporting events, and it has become an incredibly populated, happy place. Whatever you're looking for, it's in this area. We have the urban living in downtown Detroit, suburban living, it's everywhere around Detroit. And if you're into more of a rural type setting, that's available. I think I've got the best of both worlds where I live. I'm in a rural area. You know, I love being able to drive five minutes and be on the lake and enjoying my boat and my family out there or coaching my kids in baseball. The schools in Southeast Michigan are great. There's so many choices, whether you decide to go public school, private school. All three of my kids have come up through the same school district. It's a very well-run, very stable, uh, high-achieving school district. Growing up in the suburbs was a good experience. You know, there's a lot of kids around, there's really good schools, a lot of parks. But to be able to be 40 minutes away and, and drive right downtown to a city that's rebuilding and revitalizing, is fantastic. I certainly like being here after 40 years. I've, I've raised my family here. When you work for DT, you touch everybody's lives, your neighbors' lives, uh, the stores that you shop at, the businesses that you deal with. And I think that that really fed back home into my family. I never imagined that I would be working at the same place that my dad works. It was not really something that I planned on doing, but it's kind of how it ended up. And, and now I see my daughter in the hallway as one of my coworkers rather than a father-daughter relationship. It's, it's pretty cool. DTE is just a, a great uh, corporate citizen. They have done a dramatic job over on Grand River, making that a beautiful part of the city, but also their involvement. Dave Meter and the DTE team taking a lead in our workforce development. And that's gonna be a big part of our comeback because everything starts with a job. We are gonna invest a lot, we are gonna procure a lot, and we're gonna put a lot of people to work. In the next 10 years, we will invest $1.2 billion. They're always there. DT's been there forever. They will be here forever, and uh, they've been a great corporate partner. Making sure that this economy is growing, making sure that these, the communities are vibrant, that this is a great place to live and raise a family, is not only important to who we are as a company and who we want to be, but it's very important to our business. DTE is uh, all of Southeast Michigan. 
We have 2.1 million electrical customers, many residential. There's quite a few commercial customers. Detroit's known for the big, the big three auto companies we have. General Motors, we have Ford, we have Chrysler. So there's, there's a variety of things that we get involved in because of that diversity. <laughs> Saw green, Cap 15 and Cap 16. The work that DTE has done to make this a nice place to come to and a beautiful place to come to and a place that you point to friends and family when you drive downtown and say, hey, I work there has been amazing. I've been going to the new fitness center here at DTE since about February. It's definitely been a really good benefit for all of the employees here. I know a lot of people have lost weight and gotten better shape, and it's just a nice environment to be working out in. A lot of us leave all the time, and we'll go to evening Tiger games, and really, you can leave your car parked here and make a five to 10 minute walk, and you're walking into the stadium, so it's fantastic. Going to Comerica and Ford Field is always a great time. When I came uh, to DTE, I was actually thinking it was just gonna be another job, and then it turned out to be an actual career for me, which is a big difference. I love working at DTE. It's a company that you see people stay here for their entire careers, which kind of tells you something, that it's a great company to work for and they treat their employees well. SOC operates the electric system for all our customers in Southeast Michigan. Uh, all work that happens on the electric system, all the operations, it happens from this office. So we're the ones making sure that uh, the electricity stays on, and as you know, without power, things stop. So the work matters here. Doing the work right matters. Coming to work matters, because this is 24 seven operation. It's our responsibility to keep that grid up and running 24 seven, 365 days a year. The responsibility of, of a system supervisor is, is tremendous. The thing that we think about a lot are hospitals, you know, all the people in there that are having surgeries or on life support, they depend on our product to, to keep that going. One of the biggest things that we do down there is to provide protection to these crews to work on it safely. My job is to make sure that every one of those linemen, substation operators, maintenance personnel, make it home to their family at the end of the night. I think that my experience in the Navy has provided me with a lot of the, the tools needed to, to transition into the job. The, the work is, is great. It's a, a direct contribution, which is something that I, I definitely like, and it's, it's very challenging. You know, every day you've got something new that you're, you know, a problem that you're trying to solve, and how can I do uh, this the best way? How can I get this work done? How can I turn those lights back on for when we have power outages? Those kinds of things. It's, and it's a very rewarding experience to be able to do that, you know, at the end of the day. I'm looking for people who want to come into an environment that's, that's going to really support teamwork. This is a great opportunity um, to be able to work in a team environment and with people that uh, will help you and that care about their work. I want people that have a great attitude towards learning uh, and share what they learn with, with their team so that uh, the knowledge of how to operate the electrical system really grows and, and thrives in that environment. Coming in as a system supervisor uh, into DT is an excellent opportunity to have a career. We would put you through a training program and we would teach you the entire distribution system. Anybody coming in new goes through typically a 12-month combination of classroom and on-the-job training where they're out in the control room and working on the board with a certified supervisor. You learn not only your job and how to function and how to operate the electrical system, but you learn the jobs of eight or 10 different disciplines. All throughout, there's embedded progressions. So you would be progressing from an SS1, System Supervisor 1, to System Supervisor 2. Once you truly understand how all of the electric system works, uh, then we'll be looking for you to be progressing to the Senior System Supervisor. It's a great opportunity to, um, to earn yeah, we get, we good salary. The, the pay is great. Uh, I came in making a little bit more than I was initially uh, looking for. Um, Benefit-wise, I mean, you get everything, uh, medical, dental, vision even, uh, 401k. System supervisors, being that they have tremendous responsibility, are rewarded quite nicely in, in their pay. So in the 40 years that I've been here, I've had tremendous opportunity. I've seen a lot of 
different technologies. I've seen a lot of different engineering. And what I see on the horizon is more of the same. And the people coming in the door today and tomorrow will get a chance to really experience the, the fantastic changes that are, that are part of the future. For someone who's considering coming to work at DTE, I would just tell them do it. <laughs> it's, you know, a great environment. There's great people to work with. There's a lot of stuff around in the city if you're working downtown. I think it's a great place, period, to, to be able to work. Just the environment, the people, the compensation, everything. I try to convince people to come to Detroit all the time. It's not the Detroit that you've heard about in the past. It's something completely different, completely new, and it's changing every day and for the better. To come from where it was to where it is now, it's amazing. People know Detroit when you're in Europe. They know Detroit when you're in Asia. Detroit is the brand. I think when you see things like this happen, you not only get a buzz, but you get this forward momentum that this is a place to be, this is a place to work, this is a place to raise a family, and that will do nothing but grow on itself.